I do want to ask you, um, what sort of trainings should people be going through in order to be better leaders? But also, um, I know you were saying that uh, innovation, right? And being able to see ahead is really important. So how do the two kind of tie together? How does, how does being a leader and being an innovator tie together? And why is it so why is it so important to always be innovating? Well, being a leader and being an innovator tied together, if you took all the qualities of an inclusive leader from any of those studies by MIT or Harvard or whatever, and you took the qualities of, a, of an innovator, they map. An inclusive leader and an innovator have the same qualities, growth mindset, empathy, self-awareness, um, flexibility, adaptability, curiosity, and um, also the ability to inspire others. And I think that the only way you can learn um, those skills is by through experiential learning, project-based, and with a team that is multidisciplinary and multicultural. And you don't have to pay for it. There are tons of programs, Law Without Walls is not the only one, where you can volunteer your time to work on a project with people from around the world to help others or whatever, that where you can learn and hone and focus on these skills and learn just by watching other people. Um, so, and constant innovation is important because the world is digitally transforming. I mean, uh, it, it, there's been more digital transformation, I'm sure, in the last few months than uh, in the last, you know, years. And Satya Nadella said something like that recently. He said that his company's transformed more in the last four months than in the last 10 years or five years or something like that. And so we're constantly, everyone is being challenged to innovate and change every day. And in small ways, people like to think innovation means, you know, we're going to create some new shiny toy or some big, you know, new, you know, flying car or something, but that's not what innovation is. Innovation is incremental change that adds value, right? So that's something that we need to be doing on a continual basis. That's something that companies are doing. So lawyers need to be doing it to support their, their companies in their own digital transformation. So I think the two are tied together. I don't think there's any leader in any position that doesn't need to be innovating, even you, right? Nick, I mean, you have two people, so you're leading these two people. And as the world changes, you have to innovate how you lead them. COVID probably made you change a little bit for how you lead them. And so I, I think that, well, life would be really boring if we didn't always have to be innovating and changing. It would literally be the same checklist of things that we want to do every single day and there would be no new ideas. Groundhog whatsoever. Day. Oh, well, that's, that's a nightmare of mine. I can't even, I can't talk about that movie. Um, 